what's up guys, Nick with a brand new unboxing video. I almost said new episode or something. No, brand new unboxing video. And today we got a game that I, it unexpectedly caught, caught my eye. I'm like, wait, it's out? It was like a week, it was like a couple days before. I'm like, huh? And I'm like, okay, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Because at the time I didn't, you know, expenses and stuff, and I'm like, I have a couple games I can rub, and I got it. It is called Batman Arkham Knight. I've been looking forward for this one. I didn't really beat Origins. I got close. I think I, I might have. I'm not sure. You know, I got to a certain point in the game. Oh, wait. I did beat it. Never mind. I did. I've beaten all the Arkham games. I saw this one coming out, and I'm like, oh, wow. Gotta do it. All right. Arkham Knight. Apparently, this is, I don't know if this is like day one DLC or something. Play as Harley Quinn in the Harley Quinn story pack. Utilize her unique weapons, gadgets, and abilities. And I read underneath, uh -huh, you need to download it before 12-31-2025. Now I'm pretty sure the Xbox One will be irrelevant by then. Be the Batman. As the United Forces of Gotham supervillains take control of the city, the Dark Knight unleashes the all-new transformable Batmobile and explosive finale to Ar the Arkham Trilogy. Batman Arkham Knight is the ultimate and complete Batman experience. Now I've seen reviews of this. People's main problems was the Batmobile, which I think kind of sucks whenever you complain about the Batmobile. It's mainly because there's certain parts of the game where you have to use it and not you can. You know, I would rather having the ability to drive with it, not, you know, that's it. But. One player only, of course. Rated M for blood, language, suggestive things, and violence. Now, they say the combat's gotten even better, giving you more stealth stuff, and I'm like, oh, wow. Uh, I plan on doing a video, but, you know, Xbox video, meaning no commentary, stuff like that. And I honestly hope to God this game is good. Because, you know, the only thing people complained about was the Batmobile. Other than that, everyone liked it. I haven't seen any low scores. So it's like, they complained about the Batmobile, but they still gave it like a 9 and up. So it's like, alright. Okie doke. Making sure the DLC thing... This comes with it. I'm not sure. Oh, I can't. Nah, no, I can't say that. That comes with it, the Harley Quinn gadget thing, whatever. Everything's upside down, by the way. And there is the game itself. It's like the uh, wheel of the Batmobile, which that's, that's the one thing that drew me to this game. I'm like, you get to use the Batmobile. Oh my God. It's like three Batman games and you were unable to use the Batmobile. And then the finale of the game, you're like, all right, we're giving you all the Batmobile. You know that? All right, here we go. And it's like people complain about the Batmobile. It's like, but anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for Mystic Quest or thank you for watching Mystic Quest, depending on when these come out. I'm not sure. Probably now. Okay, bye.